So some of the readers asked me to make the video on the iMessage and FaceTime. Um, actually, this is the High Sierra on the Broadwell HD 5500. So most of the iMessage for it to work you just have to make sure your NVRAM is working. So in order to check see if to see if your NVRAM is working, you can test it by doing sudo NVRAM put something NV disable equal to one for instance. NVRAM minus P and see if we see the uh, NV disable one there or not. So a lot of junk in here. But important things that we're looking for NV disable equal to one. So it's there. So make sure the NV RAM is working and at the same time use the iMessage debug so we make sure that all of these here will change after we reboot a few times. So, so I took a screenshot from yesterday a few times and today. So if you look, all the numbers are the same, then you're good. So how do we turn it on? First, we need to have a good account good ID with Apple. So what you need to do is to go to Apple ID. So you need to come here and create an Apple ID. So normally if your Apple ID is have no history with them, uh, sometimes they don't even turn your iMessage on. So say you have it already, that is good. I have a good account with them because I have iPhone and stuff. So what you need to do is to go to iCloud. You got to turn it on. All right. So you want to do it? Uh, no, later. So your echo document and data next. So now I don't want photo, okay? So I'm gonna remove that. Uh, mail and everything. All right, that's fine. It's done. So when you're done with this, when you go to iMessage, it will come up automatically. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna my daughter. I'm gonna text her. Okay. Hello Brenda. Happy birthday, Brandon. So now it's working. I message. Very easy. On FaceTime. So normally when I message work, FaceTime will work. The only thing is you need is your camera have to be good. There you go. I don't want to see my ugly face, okay?